Hello, Luigi Noids. This is Luigi X Rules playing Pokemon Shining Pearl. In the last episode, we checked out both um, the Lake Verity and Lake Valor. And in this episode, we're going our way to Lake Acuity to see what's going on. Apparently, oh yeah, and we also fought some Team Galactic Commanders and went through Mount Coronet. And then in this episode, we are going to be exploring routes 216 and 217 and seeing what's going on. Ooh, there's a skier up there. Wow, that guy's spinning around. wonder if they're having any fun. Ice heal. Ooh, stay still for too long. Oh, or the snow's just thicker, thicker over there. All right. Hello there, trainer. I'm fully kitted and equipped. Any time will be fine. What trainer class are you? Ace Trainer Bora. Ooh, a different style of Ace Trainer. Bop Bunny. Alright. This Pokemon is infamous for its, um, looks. It's pure normal. Did it say level 37? Holy cow. Mirror code. feels back any damage that was, um, I don't know, special attack. Ah, <laughs> use baby doll as all you want, I'm actually using special moves. And there it goes. Lots of experience, too, because it's fully evolved. Huh? <laughs> Just so surprised. Perhaps I should change into a more comfy outfit. Maybe you should, maybe you shouldn't. That's all up to you. How close is our egg to hatching? Uh, it says it doesn't seem close, but last time I saw that, it ended up being close after all. Okay, so... I kind of do would like the experience. So let's fight you. I'm an ace. I can see that you're an ace too. Got ace trainers on this route. We're getting closer to the end of the game, which means the trainers are going to be more difficult. We got a new Pokemon here, Amber Palm. Also infamous for its looks, but in a different way. Maybe I shouldn't have a ghost type out as my first one. <coughs> Man, I need to find a fighting type soon. Cool shot. It is cool though that we're gonna be seeing more new Pokemon along this route. Ah oh, man, we still get buffeted by the hail. And Blake is down. Just as I thought. Aw oh, man, poor guy, he's so cold. You can pretend to be ordinary, but your eyes tell me another story. Um, got you, I guess. We got all these trainers just buried in the snow. To be ready to answer any call, to be ready to accept any challenge. That is the way of a trainer. Good for you. I don't know, maybe I should stop saying stuff after every time all these ace trainers say stuff. Another new Pokemon, it seems like we might actually find a lot of new Pokemon here. Golduck is the evolution of Psyduck, and yet it is still not a psychic type, I think. At least, it's pure water still. And uh, apparently has been using Aqua Jet. Okay, it's down now. And Pulpit and Rosemary leveled up. Pulpit level 48. Oof. It's getting close to, like, the end level. Oh 
choice. The Sucker Punch should fail when you use a priority move. I didn't know that. Alright, Ace Trainer Maria is down. How disappointing! She says while clutching your face like that. You can make all the preparations in the world, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah, that's just a fact of life right there. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Oh, hang on, do we have anything that um, increases base special defense? Or special attack? Yeah, I think I'm actually going to use that on Rosemary. I would like to have her... Um, special attack or what use because she has a nature that lowers it and well special attack is a good attack stat it is would have been its highest stat if it weren't for the nature well is this gear trainer type it is are you a novice or are you capable I guess you're about to find out Only one Pokemon, but that means it could be powerful. It's a Sneasel! Huh, this is actually not good for me. Because it is Dark Ice type. Which means Paul can handle it. Is it Dark Ice type actually? I'm not sure. I know it's evolution definitely is. Oh no, I see wind. Ah, it does lower speed, though. Ooh, seems like it was only barely a kill. Paul's gonna have to get some stronger moves. And there goes Skier Edward. I never expected you to be an expert. <laughs> well, I hate to say it, but I am. You know how to play your Pokemon with an edge. Alright, before I forget any further... Let me go down. I don't think I've done this. Use flamethrower. Make Paul learn it. It's 90 power, 100 accuracy. It'll be better special move than... And a special attack isn't bad, anyway. It'll be better than Ember. <laughs> that much is for sure. But, anyway, let's check out this house. Snowbound Lodge. A warm bed and a little... Ellie? Is that what that said? Feel free to take a power nap in that bed. As you see, this lodge is simply furnished. Do what you like here. I don't have thick fat like some Pokemon, so I have to bundle up in clothes to keep warm. Alright. So now this bed acts as a heal point without being a Pokemon center. So I'm not sure if you respond there if you... Um, died, but... We got this huge long road, um... I might take it all on, we'll see. It'll be primarily battles this episode, and if there's not new Pokemon in them, then it'll be... I always battle for cubes. This is no drill! Um... Fast forwarding, as I have learned in the past, does cut down the video length quite a bit. I haven't seen Mr. Mime in a while. Well, I was going to use it again anyway, so... I don't really care. And there it goes. And, oh yeah, Shaky's in the party too. Still haven't found a replacement for him. Yeah, Joy-Con Drift with the level up, but more importantly, Rosemary with the level up. She's getting closer. And there it goes. Good job! That was an excellent battle! If you don't play for keep, you'll lose battles, you should be dominating. Ugh, got a competitive person there. Thick snow and oh hey we finally made it to Route 217. Wow, it's 
really snowy now. Oof. Give a Pokemon everything. Joy Conjure for some time. This cold is nothing compared to the fire that burns in my heart. Oh, a Raichu. Well, let's see how powerful Flamethrower ends up being here. Let's see, it's actually way stronger than Flame Wheel, so it'll probably actually deal more damage. Oof, Raichu's a bit defensive, though. So, well, it's not super effective. That would be sad if it died in the hail. Ah, he got smart. Put up a light screen. Because he realized I was going to use special moves. I was then really afraid of static, so I used another special move. But I should have saved more flame fillers for later. Anyway, yeah. Look at that. Dang, utterly decimated. Yeah, Rosemary, come on, keep on leveling up. Learn some new moves. There we go, Giga Drain. That'll be much more powerful than Mega Drain. 75 power instead of 40. Less PP, though. Gotta keep that in mind. Wonder if she's ever gonna learn Venice Shaw. Hippopotas. That's a new Pokemon. I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but that's a Hippopotas. And it has Sandstream, which is going to replace the sand, the hail with Sandstorm. Of course, it doesn't really matter, because we're just going to decimate him in one surf anyway. Because it is a ground type. But... In either case, and there goes Dalton. Your heart burns as hot as mine. <laughs> the weather clears up sometimes. Use breathtaking then. I'm sure it is. Ice areas look really nice in general. Here. Oh hey, there was a hidden item. I just pressed A randomly because I don't want to. I don't feel like pulling out my TM menu. Hello there. Yep. Knew there would be at that. Poof. Got a good eye spot on me. And it was indeed a spot. Whoa, Antonio with the four. Alright, Antonio. You saw through my weak spots. I sure did. I believe it's my Pokemon. Even in a Blizzy. That's some serious dedication you got there. Oof. Got some deep patches of snow here. Can I run my bike? I guess not. Alright, made it to the other side. Got a bottle of iron for my efforts. Also another ninja boy. Oh, like this. Whoa, TM for hail. I guess you can guess what that does. So, how far are we? Alright, alright. I've been a little stingy with the trainers, but maybe I'll go back and fight some. While I was fighting my way through the pit. Blizzard, I dropped a TM. That's new rock climb. 
Now that would be a very excellent move. If you could tell me where that is, I would love to know. Hello. There are several kinds of ninjas. Are you an Iga or a Kuga ninja? I don't know what either of those mean. I care to explain, Ethan? No, instead you're just gonna use a score. With me. Alright. The Gundrift and Rosemary both leveled up. And there goes Ninja Boy Ethan. I'm not much of a ninja either way. Ah, uh, stop beating yourself up, kid. Why do I everyone stops being a ninja when they grow up? It's because they're boring. There it is, TM100 Rock Climb. As you can see, it appeared in the Hidden Moves app. It allows you to move rapidly to the top of rugged cliff sides. See, I don't actually know what type that is. Let's check it out. Should be at the bottom. Either way. I'm looking to the bottom. Oh, or not. Nah, it'll appear in the middle for some reason. On with hail. It is a normal type move. It's 85 accuracy. It can leave pose confused and has 90 power though, which ain't bad. Alright, let's fight some more trainers. I've been skiing with Pokemon since I was just five years old! Are you an Olympian? Cause that sounds like what Olympians would do. Skier Lexi. You know what? Let's try Smart Strike. We'll be neutral cause it's very water tight. Not the strongest move in the world though. And you're gonna be a jerk in your charm. Which harshly lowers attack. Alright. Another one should still be enough. But, we do have another Pokemon that can take care of fairy types relatively easily. Because, why don't we see another new move here? It's this Clefairy. Flash Cannon. Boom. Pretty awesome steel type move. One of the few with 100 accuracy like that. Okay. And there she goes. Oh, um, wait. What? I beat you. That's what. The scenery doesn't change very much around here. Don't go getting lost. I'll try not to. Go, go. Ooh, hello there, fighter. Make sure I'm more agile. I always dress light. Seems like maybe not the smartest move. Black belt, Luke. Wow, another trainer without a vendetta against Sturdy. Luckily though, it's hailing, so Sturdy doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, 49. Ooh boy. There goes Black Belt Luke. Achoo! Bless you. I might have to go home and dress warmer than this. That would probably be the smart move. Alright, we're approaching Lake Acuity. It appears to be up there. Question is, can I like pop by Snow Point City? I'm not sure if I can. W what is it? Pokemon battle? Sure, if you want to. Got a couple more level ups again. Rosemary is, I think, at the point where she might be able to 
um, handle some of these Pokemon on our own. Oh gosh, what, why can't I remember what a Sea King is? Well, it has C in it, so I'm gonna see how Roselia fares, Rosemary fares against it. Okay, that's what a Sea King is, okay. So first, let's start off with a Magical Leaf. Waterfall. Did a lot of damage, even though it's not very effective. Play only Magical Leaf. Ah, man, the hail. That's gonna make Waterfall kill, isn't it? Should've used Giga Drain. Oh, this Peck will kill. And he was right. Or she, sorry. Alright, well, we still have Shinkies. So, might as well give him some use. I don't wanna send in Joy-Con Drift while she's poisoned. Well, Shinky's leveled up from that, at least. <laughs> well, you are alive, aren't you? Yeah, I, I'm alive. Around these parts, perhaps because of all the snow, there are many folk tales of haunting. Um, that's creepy. How many revives do we have? I haven't really been buying any, and they're pretty expensive, but... I think I'd like Rosemary to gain some more experience. Let's do some other stuff while we're here. All right. Hey, there it is. Sneasel. Ice Dark. Uh, honestly, though, I kind of, was kind of thinking about giving um, Pulpit Ice Beam, so I'm not sure if we need an Ice type. But um, it is a Gen 2 Pokemon. Wow. Immediately breaks free. I have plenty of Ultra Balls. Yeah, give me that Sneasel. I'm thinking about something here. Well, first, add it to the Pokedex. It is extremely vicious and will not stop attacking until its foe is incapable of moving. Sounds vicious to me. Snare sounds like a cool name. We'll see. I I'm not a hundred percent sure on this yet. I mean, I, I don't even know if it's a trade evolution. It might be a trade evolution. For all I know, but just in case it's not. We got it. So we got a Cutie Lakefront. It looks like we do have to go through the Cutie Lakefront in order to get to Snow Point. Or maybe we don't. Maybe I can try and... Oh, this is technically a new Pokemon, Metacham. The evolution of Metatite. Let's see if I can't reach Snow Point City real quick. Yeah. Nice to heal at the Pokemon Center. Oh, I see the stairs. We reached it! Snow Point City, it's fittingly the city of snow. <laughs> the snow on the town is always freezing cold. The spirits of the trainers and their Pokemon bird bright and hide and bright, bright and hot or something. Especially the gym leader. There is a gym here in Snow Point City. Cool song. And it's right here. Gym leaders can die. The Diamond Dust Girl. What? What are you doing in there? Candice is teaching me about Pokemon. Uh, I'll just pronounce it Candice. She says I have to stop at making friends with Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, that would be a good step, I would think. Hey, a Torchic. You're from the Hoenn region. By any chance, do you have a Pokemon called Metacham? If you do, would you like to change your Metacham for my haunt? That depends. Would that Metacham evolve into a Gengar? It's okay if you don't want to, but if you change your mind, let's trade Pokemon. I love how my girl has such... ...vivacity and charm. Um, girl as in girlfriend or daughter, I... I would assume girlfriend based on their age, but I'm not 100% sure. So what's back here? Only the chosen may enter the Snow Point Temple. 
I'm sorry, but you'll have to leave. Ooh. I'm seeing some faces on the walls. Or some specific symbols. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Come on. There. Wow, aren't you feeling like cold in that outfit? Maybe you should wear something wa warmer. Yeah, I don't know if I can customize my s appearance. Hello, hello. Do you know what Journey's saying? Um. <laughs> Illumination. What? You just ran my mind, didn't you? Alright. Kooloo Right back at you. But. Yeah, it looks like there's not much to the city. There's nothing here! And that's what makes us unique. We're unique because we are very unremarkable. Okay. Well, first let's check this out. Sounds like sound gets swallowed up by the snow. I thought it's very quiet here. Do you know you know how there are many ice type Pokemon around Snow Point City? What if they also live in the temple? Who knows, only the worthy are able to go there. And then as a final step, let's see uh, if the gym is available or if we have to take care of um Acuity. Lake Acuity first. It is Acuity, right? Oh. Looks like we might be able to take on this gym right this second. Hey, how's it going, Chant to be? Do you see the big snowballs placed here and there? You need to slide on the ice so that enough momentum might have crush them. The gym leader is a user of ice type Pokemon. Me melt her defenses of scorching hot fire type moves. It's all about focus with this gym. Bear down and focus. Sounds like something that we will tackle in the next episode. Wow, we've been tackling these gyms pretty quickly. Although, yeah, there was that huge gap, and I have a feeling that there might be a huge gap after this gym, because oftentimes there's a huge gap between the 7th and 8th gyms due to finishing up story stuff. But that'll do it for this episode. In the next one, we will take on the Snow Point City Gym, which apparently consists of mostly ice types. Until next time, goodbye.